hey guys and welcome back today we are going to create this button hovering effect it is a kind of a pulsing effect on the button when we hover over it so i have created two types of button one has a, a rounded corner the second one is a squared one so whichever one you like you can use it so without any further ado let's get into the coding part so create a simple text document and give it any name that you want and keep a .html extension be sure to remove the .txt extension from the end so that it becomes a html file alright then open it in the text editor and create html tag if your text editor has a autocomplete feature you can just hit enter and these tags will be filled in by the text editor on its own and anyways if the text editor is not having such feature you can pause the video and type these tags for yourself then quickly fill in the title then get inside the body tag let's begin with a div tag and write the class container then get inside and create a div tag again and let's have the class d-i-flex we will use this class to change the display to inline flex for this div element anyways then get inside and create a anchor tag that is the e tag since we don't have any url for this link you can just leave a hash symbol then class btn space btn hyphen pink space rounded hyphen btn we will define a button using the btn class and then btn hyphen pink will give the pink background to the button and then the rounded hyphen button will be responsible for making the corners rounded then you can write any text that you want then copy this entire div with the class d hyphen i hyphen flex and paste it just below it so this will create the second button and change the rounded btn to squared btn so that this one will be the squared one so with this the html part is over it was pretty simple pretty easy we don't have to do much we just have to define a anchor tag and using that anchor tag we are going to create a button so the rest of the logic is in the css so quickly get back to the place where you have defined the html file and create one more simple text document and rename it to style.css remove the .txt extension all right then open it in the text editor before moving forward with the css uh, let's create a link in the head section of the html file so that these two files are linked together and the html recognizes the css style sheet that we have created all right then get in the css and let's start with the basic formatting Now format the container class. Display flex. Then flex direction. Row. So that the elements inside the container class 
are aligned in one row but in different columns. Then align items to center so that they are aligned in the center vertically. Then justify hyphen content to center so that the elements are aligned in the center horizontally. Alright. Then let's start with the button. Dot BTN position relative font weight 500 border width 1 pixel margin 0 0.5 rem top bottom 1.5 rem left right border radius 3 pixels then let's add some transition effect all 0 0.3 seconds ease in out all right then dot btn hyphen pink comma dot btn hyphen pink colon active background color hash e7507 b exclamation mark important now this is the hex code for the pink color then let's have the border color same then the font color to white all right now let's define the hovering effect over the buttons so dot btn hyphen pink colon hover comma dot btn hyphen pink colon focus then the font color to white and the background color will be a little dark pink and the border color will also be a little dark pink all right then let's give some hovering effect over all the buttons a dot btn colon hover this will select all the a tags which have btn class with them comma a dot btn colon focus then box shadow zero space 10 pixel space 40 pixel space 0 rgba 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 so this will add a little gray shadow effect when we hover over the button all right now let's define the rounded btn class so that we can apply the round corner stylings a dot rounded hyphen btn dot btn so this will select all the a tags which have rounded hyphen btn we are not leaving any space in between because rounded hyphen btn and btn class are used together in the same element then the border radius to 100 pixel this is going to make the corners round then let's define the hovering effect over these rounded buttons dot rounded hyphen btn dot btn colon hover colon after comma 
dot rounded hyphen btn dot btn colon focus colon after we want the animation to start when we hover over the button so we are going to define the animation within this then content blank we don't want any content to be added border one pixel solid we want a border of one pixel and solid style to be drawn then the border color inherit because we want the border color to be inherited from the btn so that if we change the color of the button the line will be drawn of the same color then width to 100% and height to 100% All right. Then let's add some transition effect on the border on the border radius. Then the border radius to 100 pixel. Then position absolute left 0% top 0% and opacity to 1 that is we want the line to be displayed then animation 1 second space btn hyphen animation space linear space infinite so this animation is used to add animation in a CSS element. So here we have defined one second, which is the animation duration. Then we have defined BTN hyphen animation, which is the animation name, which we are going to use as the name of the keyframe to bind to the selector. Then linear is the animation timing function and infinite is the animation iteration count. All right. So now we need to define the keyframe btn hyphen animation keyframe. So write zero percent transform scale one hundred percent. Transform scale 1.3 that is increase the size opacity 0. So let me give a little introduction to the keyframe before we continue with this. The at keyframes rule specifies the animation code. So the animation is created by gradually changing from one set of CSS styles to another. And during this animation, you can change the set of CSS styles many times as you want. And while defining the animation, we specify when the style change will happen in percentage. So if we write 0%, then 100%, it will mean that 0% is the beginning of the animation and 100% is where the animation is going to complete. And we can have as many keyframe selectors in one animation as you want. So this will mean that the animation will start from 0%. The size of the pulse of the button is going to be 1 at the beginning. That is, it is going to be the size of the button. Then it is going to transform to 1.3. That means it is going to increase by 30%. And then it is going to fade out because the opacity is set to 0. So after getting to a point where the size of the pulse is 1.3 times of itself it is going to start fading out so we won't see it beyond 1.3 size and uh, let's just add some padding in the button so get into the dot btn class and add padding one rem 
space 1.5 RAM. One is for the top bottom, 1.5 is for the left right. All right. So the rounded button is complete and for the squared one, let's define the classes. So we don't have to change all the properties. We just have to take care of few properties. Then border hyphen radius to zero. animation and we are going to use the same animation that we have defined before so btn hyphen animation space linear space infinite all right and the animation is complete if you like the video please hit like button and let me know in the comment section if there is anything you don't understand in this video. Thanks for watching.